For Yahoo, the security breach that exposed 500 million consumer accounts disclosed in September could soon give the soon-to-be-acquired tech company 4.8 billion reasons to worry. That is, to worry about the possibility that Verizon Communications could use the security breach to renegotiate the terms of its $4.8 billion deal it struck to acquire Yahoo in July. The Wall Street Journal's Vipal Manga and Thomas Gritta illuminate the fact that many merger agreements contain provisions allowing buyers to withdraw from deals if the value of the transaction has been diminished by, quote, a significant development, unquote. And on Thursday, Verizon General Counsel Craig Silliman raised the possibility that Verizon could invoke its rights to renegotiate the deal, saying, quote, we have reasonable basis to believe right now that the impact is material, unquote. Earlier this week, Verizon Chief Executive Lowell McAdams said the carrier didn't plan to walk away from the acquisition, but didn't rule out seeking changes to the terms. He said he considered Yahoo as, quote, a real value asset, unquote, but added, quote, in fairness, we are still understanding what was going on and defining whether it was a material impact on the business or not, unquote. The breach, which Yahoo blamed on a state-sponsored actor, occurred two years ago but was discovered after the merger deal was signed. The company says hackers stole names, addresses, dates of birth, telephone numbers, and encrypted passwords. Yahoo and Verizon aren't likely to go to court over this because Yahoo's business has been declining and it may not want to face the prospect of putting a for sale sign up again.